need money. Five things we can teach our kids about finance. This is Eva Wong here, your wealth coach to achieve early retirement. If you wish to learn how to retire early, subscribe to this channel here. Financial illiteracy is the major global challenge. When the coronavirus pandemic struck in early 2020, the first problem that surfaced was the financial issue. Do we want this issue to continue every time when we have global financial crisis? No. Then we need to educate ourselves and the kids about finance. Think about this. If you have a time machine that can bring you back 10 years ago, what would you do differently? Many actually said that they wish they have saved and invested more. We want our kids to know about saving and investing earlier for sure. Let's have a look what are the five things that we can teach our kids about finance. First, the purpose of money. We need to teach our kids that money is a tool to help us do what we want. When we have enough money, we feel financially secure. With money, we have more choices in life. We need money for almost all aspects of life. Uh, we need to buy house, uh, phones, TVs, uh, food, uh, clothes and cars. We should not worship money, but we should not ignore the importance of money too. If we ignore the importance of the money, our kids will feel that they might ignore money matters in the future. This might lead them not be able to properly manage their money as well. Concept number two, how we can earn money. Parents are working hard to bring back money so that there's food on the table. However, kids might not understand why parents need to work and have lesser time to spend with them. The kids need to be educated on how money can be earned through exchanging time for money, business and even through investment. This will help them to appreciate your hard work. Concept number three, needs and wants. When parents are busy working and have lesser time with kids, it is easy for parents to feel guilty and tend to buy what the kids demand. The kids need to be educated about the needs and wants and this will give them an idea how to spend wisely. The spending on the wants can be reduced which will develop their habit to think before they spend. This will reduce the debt crisis when they grow up. Many youngsters now are stuck in debt because they spend too much on luxury items. Wants is you want that toy, but that is not really important into your life. Needs is you need things is for your life and it's very important. Like you need a house to live in, avoid the rain and the thunderstorm. Concept number four, four basic money jars. The four jars is spend, save, give and invest. The four basic jars can give the kids a rough idea how they should allocate their monies when they are given some allowances. They need to understand that they cannot spend all their monies and it is important for them to share some money to the people who are unfortunate. We need to let the kids to know the importance of saving and investing for their future. We only have limited time to work if we want to retire at the age of 55. Finally out of the rat race! Yes! If we don't save money now, we need to work forever. We also need to let the kids know that the value of money will shrink every year due to the inflation. With the low saving interest rate, we'll be losing a lot of money value without investing. You see, I have four houses already, I have four two flags already. Concept number five, spending and investing. Kids should be taught about the concept of delayed gratification. We need to tell the kids that if you spend too much to get instant enjoyment, we need to work harder and harder for the future. They need to understand the concept to invest for a longer duration to see the delayed benefits. Are you jealous? No, not even single pet. <laughs> even though they cannot enjoy now, the life will be easier at a later stage. Researchers show that People admit the reason why they cannot save is because they spend a lot on their lifestyle including the shopping and entertainment. If the kids can appreciate the concept of delay gratification, they are more likely to resist the temptation for excess shopping and this will help them able to save more to secure better future. That's all for my sharing this time and thanks for watching this video and I do hope that you like it.
do subscribe to this channel for more early retirement tips and i hope to see you again bye